Okay, there we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Gamer Alex. Welcome to Gotham Night. So, if you guys don't know, I'm a very big comic book nerd. Very big comic book nerd. I'm a fan of so many comics. Whether it be DC, Marvel, I even have got some more comics with me right now. Like, I got a little boy over here. I got motherfucking boys. I got Umbrella Academy. And one of my favorite DC comic books, John Constantine and the Hellblazer series. This stuff's good. I'm a comic book nerd. And that especially includes Batman related stuff. Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. My bad. And I didn't play this when it first came out. I played the Arkham series. I play Arkham Asylum, City, Origins, and Night. Love them, especially Arkham City. I consider Batman Arkham City to be one of the best, if not the best superhero video game. Maybe. It's kind of tied between that one, Marvel Spider-Man, and the Lego superhero games. There's a lot of those, so it's hard to make a uh, on those. But this was one that didn't exactly flow under the radar for me, but I didn't really get a chance to play it at the time because I was busy playing a lot of other games. And I did hear that wasn't as good as a lot of other ones, but I want to know for myself, especially as a comic book nerd. Now, I'm not expecting it to be as good as the Arkham series. That's, that's a high bar to set. But I'm still expecting this to be fun. I mean, we got four different characters to choose from. We got Dick Grayson, the first Robin for Batman, Barbara Gordon, aka Batgirl, of course, and daughter of Commissioner Jim Gordon, Jason Todd, who I think is one of the most interesting of uh, the Batman family characters. Because not only was he a Robin, he was the one who died, or well, almost died, thought to have died, and then came back as, well, a very opposite vigilante of Batman, and became quite a nemesis of him. And for this version of Robin, I actually don't know which one this is going to be. Because it's definitely not Dick or, J or Jason, because, well, there's Nightwing and Red Hood right there. So it's either going to be Damian Wayne, which is uh, Batman's biological son that he has with Talia al Ghul. Or more likely, Tim Drake. Because normally Tim Drake tends to be the third Bat- third, not, not third Batman, third Robin after... Dick Grayson and Jason Todd, it's usually Tim Drake. So my guess it's probably Tim Drake. It makes the most sense. Even though he becomes of a red Robin later on. I'm a comic book nerd, what can I say? <laughs> so this should be very interesting and fun. Let's do this. Alright, current save date. I don't have a save date already. Come on, let's do this. Now, I'll probably make a lot of comic book references, because like I said, I'm a very big comic book nerd, and that especially includes Batman stuff. So this is going to be fun. Uh, let's see, hero experience bounce, but challenging combat. I always go to medium difficulty. I feel like that's the most fun. This is co-op, I'm not going to play it co-op, though. Uh, private, definitely private. I don't want people joining my session. Finest contrast saturation, that looks good. Accessibility options, defragment video file. If you're watching this, I'm dead. That's a way to start a game, Bruce. Of course, you got the Batmobile. You can't have Batman without the Batmobile. Come on. <laughs> oh, okay. An arrow. Who are you fighting against? Actually, there's a lot of villains. It could be. There's a lot of villains and characters that use bows and arrows. I guess for Batman villains, that would still be quite a big list. We are done. You and I. Okay, whoa, you look interesting. Ye okay, he's not ringing any bells design-wise. Your disappointment, Evania. 
Definitely not Azrael. I'm not, I don't think I know who this one is. I might be a comic book nerd, but there's a lot of comics, so I don't know every little thing. Corruption still flourishes in Gotham, lurking in every shadow. You don't need that mask. I know it's you. Oh, okay. The Demon Head. And leader of the League of Assassins, or League of the Shadows. They've been called both many times. Okay, that's kind of cool. You just use your own cape to beat his ass. Dang, Bruce. Yeah, he's hurting. Of a lot of, he has a lot of villains, but Rachel Ghoul is definitely one of his like toughest villains. Besides, of course, characters like the Joker, Deathstroke, and a few others. But Rachel Ghoul, he's on quite another level. He's definitely one of the most deadliest. Especially since he won't die. Because no all he needs is the Lazarus Pit. <laughs> one of Riddler's <laughs> question marks. Oh, even the Penny! <laughs> And he's on the T-Rex, of course. Ooh, the Batwing. Oh, come on! Yeah, like I said, Rachel Ghoul definitely one of Batman's deadliest villains. Okay, he must be using the powers of the Lazarus Pit. Which makes sense, because he's been bathing in the Lazarus Pit for centuries. one with a headbutt. Yeah, he's still not going to be easy to take down. The power of the Lazarus Pit is one of the strongest. And it's helped make him, well, not really age like normal people. I mean, he's not as old as Vandal Savage, but he's still pretty old. Yeah, he's all. He's gonna need a doctor. He's gonna need some help.
Oh, is he gonna blow up the you bat cave? Before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Yep, he's blowing up the back cave. Gotham is their city now. He's trying to use the power of the Lazarus Pit, but I don't know if the Lazarus powers can help if his body's crushed by the rubble. Yep, it's all gone. The Batcave and the Manor. Since, well, the Batcave was underneath Wayne Manor. Oh, there's Batgirl. There's everyone. I'm kind of surprised Red Hood is here. Because normally, well, when Jason Todd becomes Red Hood, usually he's against Batman. Even becomes his nemesis at times. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. There! But then... Nothing we do is easy. I've prepared for it as best as I can. Yep. I know you have to. They all saw Bruce like a father figure. I'm sorry it's come to this. He was like a father to a lot of them. Uh, where's Rayshaw Ghoul's body? Uh, crap, his body's not there, but he definitely survived using the Lazarus Pit's powers. We both know it won't take long for Gotham's criminals to realize that Batman is gone. True, I mean, crime happens like every second in Gotham. We can't count on the GCPD. Never trusted us since Jim died. Jim Gordon's dead? Damn! How did Jim Gordon die? Was it Joker? The tower. Some okay. The technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. Catherine Kane. Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. Jacob Kane. A handsome, charming billionaire. Oh, Bruce's and uncle. An aunt. He was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. Yeah, you were his uncle and aunt. He was a friend. A mentor, oh, Alfred. And a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did. I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. True. He, was he really did love that city. To this city. Mm -hmm. 
He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice and equality. Yep, both as Batman and Bruce. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. Oh, Alfred. Ah, Alfred was like a father to Bruce, and Bruce was like a son to Alfred. I'm guessing Jason Todd and Bruce must have mended ways. You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. Alfred. What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. That explains why he wasn't by yeah, his side. Time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. Dick Grayson, Nightwing? It'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. Tim Drake, I was right, so it is Tim Drake version of Robin, okay. Behind the scenes. Jason Todd, Red Hood. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Because Catherine and Jacob's daughter ends up becoming Batwoman. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? Yeah. If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters. Okay, I think now is where we need to choose the character. But the thing is, I don't really know who to choose. All each character is interesting in their own ways, especially when it comes to the comics. I mean, Dick Grayson, he was the first Robin, first adopted son of Batman. He's the one who becomes Nightwing. Jason Todd... Second Robin, he's almost died and ends up becoming Red Hood, who usually becomes a nemesis to Batman. Kind of opposite ideology, where he tries to put fear into criminals, instead Red Hood just straight up kills them as such. Kind of like his counterpart in the Arkham Knight game. Tim Drake, Tim Drake is interesting, but not nearly as interesting compared to the other Robins. I mean, he does become the Red Robin later on in the comics, but he's not nearly as interesting compared to like Tim, not Tim Drake, to Jason Todd or Dick Grayson, even Damian Wayne. And Barbara, Barbara is the daughter of Jim Gordon, the commissioner, one of the first people to ever trust Batman, besides, of course, Alfred, of course. And I'd love to know more about what happened to Jim Gordon. Plus, I don't know if this is maybe a version where she lost her ability to walk and then gained it again. Because in some versions, uh, she loses her ability to walk. Mostly because of Joker. But in some other ones, she regains the ability through like a microchip surgeries and whatnot like that. Other times, she just becomes Oracle. But obviously, she's Batgirl in this one. I'm thinking, who should I go with? I'm thinking of going with Dick Grayson. He was the first Robin, the first adopted son of Batman, and the first one he decided to trust with his identity, besides, of course, Alfred. Before Gordon, before anyone else, it was Grayson. So I'm thinking of going with Nightwing. For a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? And it doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. Definitely it seemed that way. This has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. 
Oh, also, you guys might want to go ahead and cremate Ra's al Ghul. Because if not, the Leak's just going to come in, take his body, then bring him back using the Lazarus Pit. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? Dr. Langstrom, that's, that's Man Bat. Not sure what is. Kurt Langstrom, yeah, that's Man Bat. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom? Okay. We gotta select our character. Gifted Acrobat? Well, of course he's a gifted Acrobat. He grew up on the circus. The Flying Graysons. Also, he said Dr. Langstrom. In the comics, Kirk, ugh, Kurt Langstrom is the one who becomes Man Bat in the comics. Rapid combos. Eskrima Stick Expert. Makes sense. You and your bow staff. Uh, self Specialist. Tactical Genius. That is true. Out of all the other Robins, there's been... Tim Drake is the smartest. He is insanely smart. Well, except when it comes to love. Let's just say he's had some run-ins with the spoiler in the comics, who's a name for character. And let's just say he's made a few dumb decisions during then. Bow Staff Prodigy? Of course. Every Robin learns a Bone Staff. <laughs> brute Strength? Oh, yeah. When it comes to Brute Strength, Jason Todd is the man. Yeah, Powerhouse Brawler, Master Marksman. Yeah, when he becomes Red Hood, he uses a pair of Glocks. Batgirl, Expert Hacker. Oh, yeah, she is damn good with a computer. Tough as nails. Yeah, single target bruiser. Uh, I think, like I said, since Dick Grayson was the first Robin, the first adopted son of Batman, the first one he ever trusted with his identity, I think I'm going to go with Dick Grayson. Let's bring out Nightwing. Let's do this. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm literally just being most of the time just geeking out. This is what happens when you're a comic book nerd <laughs> like me. Uh, well, it's fun. <laughs> uh. But yeah, you guys are going to want to cremate Ray Shackle's body, like, immediately. Because if not, the League of Shadows are just going to come in, take the body, and just bring it back using Lazarus Pitch. I'm at Gotham U. What's the story so far with okay, this? Okay, WASD. Kurt Langstrom. Judging by the half-finished file with the code black, Batman was digging into him hardcore. Eyes open and ready for anything, then. Hold shift to climb? Okay. The question is, has he turned into Man Bat yet? Or is he going to? And these are not the best paintings, jeez. What is that? Yep. Yeah, him is acrobatics. So we got a positive ID on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Oh, okay, that's not good. So Kirk Langstrom's already dead. Well, okay then. I guess we're not having man bat in the game. <laughs> Not expecting Kirk Langstrom just to drop dead before he even turns to Man Bat. Crap. Bad news. Langstrom is dead. Any idea where I can find his office? F. Oh, okay. Langstrom's dead. Damn We're Apple Mechanic. The note said his office is in Molten Hall, the third floor. Thank you. Here we go. The or are we at the Yepkov University? My way in. Body cam 
recording. Okay, so far everything's running smooth. Here we go. This is? Yep, Dr. Kirk Langstrom. The cops didn't spend much time here. Langstrom must have died somewhere else. Tap X A R. We'll to use AR targeting. Okay. Scan the marks on the floor. Okay, marks on the floor. Here we go. These marks scratches. I wonder what made them. If there's scratches, it still could be connected with Man Bat. All I have is dead end so far. I feel like this might turn into something. You it like most it. likely will. I'm breaking into a lab. I always did love a good break in. Even that night you accidentally tripped the alarm? Excuse me, that was you. <laughs> I'll see if there's anything else to this lead. Stay safe. That's you not too. a good sign. Okay. Uh oh, oh, I need to do shift. This is where Langstrom died. You'd think the GCPD would still be all over this lab. Well, you don't know. I mean, Jim Gordon's gone, so who's commissioner now? Montoya Jackson? It's either going to be Harvey Bullock or Montoya Jackson. Those are the only two people I could think who could become commissioner when Jim Gordon is dead. Looks like Langstrom was attacked at his workstation. He lost a lot of blood. But what attacked him? He or who? Away, and then the attacker pinned him to the wall. Brutal. Brutal and brutal indeed. He spent his final moments crawling toward that cabinet. Why didn't he try to leave the lab? Don't want to try scanning the phone? Hidden mechanism. Oh, crap, it's a hidden door. Oh. What were you hiding, Dr. Langstrom? Probably lost secrets. It's gated crime scene, so that's going to search evidence. I'll cover truth. Okay, so okay. Langstrom made specific note of these dates. Makes and sense. I will too. Makes sense there's a little investigation part, because well, Batman is the world's greatest detective. A so of course he's gonna teach his family to be detectives. Joke. Could be something. Okay. 20, 21st October, our circle, what were the significance of these dates? If you want to know, talk to Calendar Man. <laughs> the thermostat could definitely double as a keypad. First, not to control temperature in the lab. It's not clear what this connects to. There's a display with room for six digits. Okay. No, but this that's. This movie meant something to Langstrom. The release date could be significant. Yeah, it is six digits. Clearly a fan of classics. The date of the film, the release is 04-11-92. Langstrom's tablet might be remote access to the door. Pretty sure you use all information available to you. I've never okay. seen a microwave like this before. Uses free it's digits. More than just late night burritos. Uses free digits, then it's most likely this one. Okay. No. Okay, how do I connect more than one thing? Okay. Microwave is most likely this. How can I? There we go. We can solve that. Let's find out what secrets this guy was keeping. <laughs> of course, it's a microwave that turns out to be the way to open a secret door. Of course, it's a microwave. Oh. Well, this is something. Is this where he was trying to make Man Bat? I don't know what those are. 
Well, those are sharks. Professor was researching some real sketchy stuff. Yep. What is? Th oh, that's one of those king crabs. Those like weird, giant crabs are terrifying looking. That and those like coconut crabs. And crabs, crustaceans are really creepy. What we got here? Tissue samples are gang material collected from various animals. Samples seem to be primarily surround sounded from creatures in Langstrom's lab tanks. Notes also mention fatty tissue from a dolphin tinric skill skin cells and orangutan saliva. Okay, so basically he just has a lot of samples of animals. Let's What's see this? what he has here. That's a hard drive. Might have some answers. Better get this back to the Belfry. Yes. Hey, I think I'm done here. Cops cleared out quick. Missed some weird marks in the walls. In a hidden lab. With an even more hidden hard drive. Great. Can't wait to get my hands on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're going to want to get that hard drive to Barbara and Tim. Because that's her specialty. This is all weird looking. Did someone see me? Did someone? That's not good. What the? Why are they attacking a university? Okay, whose goons are these? What is with your hair? The man's got lollipop sticks for hair. Oh, finally time to do some combat. Let's do it. Let's do this. Bring it. Oh, yeah. Oh, his duplatons he has. Okay, hold for heavy. Captivate. Okay. Oh, you made a bad mistake, buddy. Oh, oh, dang. Of course, the finisher is an acrobatic move. Gang activity's been ramping up without Batman around. Guess the freaks want to join the party. Someone Makes sense. A lesson. I'm on it. Makes sense. Once Batman's gone, everyone's gonna start playing. Ooh, acrobatics, my boy. And we need to get to him quickly. Like I said, we don't want him burning the place to the ground. What is you doing? Oh, I press Q. Here we go. Goodbye. There's just one more right there. Out. Hey, look up here. I'm a professor of center. Sorry, professor, but class is over. Oh. Okay, tap shift to perch. Okay. Better to stay hidden. Okay, can I do any takedowns? You, buddy. Yep, silent takedown. There we go. One last guy. Remain undetected. Oh, that's what I'm doing. You burn now, grass. No one will mow you ever. <laughs> what was he talking about grass about? It's grass. It can grow back. That's what grass does. And we got a bonus too. Yeah. Intro. Oh. There's probably more inside. Of course there is. What's up? Enjoying the fireworks. A range attack. Ooh. Wait, what's my range attack? Oh, it's like some sort of dart or something. Okay. Yeah, it's like some sort of like dart. Okay, makes sense. It's not nearly as strong as a regular attack, but to be fair, it's just a dart. It's not like I'm using a gun like Jason Todd would. The whole building is burning down. I better hurry. Yeah. Uh, 
Jeez. Oh, they got hostages. Yeah. And we're going to have to do this most likely silently. We don't want the hostages to get hurt. Okay. Tap C, use health pack. Okay, silent takedown. Actually, they can see me from here, yep. What up? Yeah, they see me. Or maybe they don't? What? How did they not see me? Okay, now I think they see me. Yeah, sorry buddy, but... Whoa now, whoa now. Sorry my friend, but your Molotovs are not how I'm about to be about this. Now I'll deal with you in a second. Ace the flame. Oh. Ooh. I don't need to use a health pack. My health is still full. You guys okay? Oh. That's a big guy. Did I just hear a bone break in him? Broken. Oh. Yeah, that cracking sound. Let's see if you'll break too. Oh, great. Go. And the fire's still spreading. Okay. He's a shield user, so I need to hit him when he's not. Hold to heavy attacks, leave him vulnerable to upper attacks. Okay, so he has a guard we can break. But first, I need an opportunity to do it. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa! Boom! No, you don't! No, you don't! There we go. There we go. Okay. Fire and paramedics inbound. You okay over there? We are now. Just a lot going on tonight. I'm head back now with Langstrom's hard drive. Finally. Yeah, let's go. I don't know why those guys wanted to burn down the university of all things. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand if they tried to go after like the bank maybe or something else, but they went straight for the university. I guess they must have flunked out or something. <laughs> Article called a bat cycle. Oh, please tell me I can. Oh yeah, that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> There's a cross come see. Oh, cool. Enter. Okay. Reach street level. Is it okay for us to walk around? Every new road. Oh, please. This is about to be awesome. And the camouflage too? Dang. Batman and his family got all the good gadgets, you know? Sorry, Superman, but you got nothing on this cycle right here. Okay, I'm driving. Okay, GPS system. Okay, accelerate, range attack, eject, brake. Okay. I can't read the rest of the tutorial part because the thing's on there. All the arrows. And I'm just doing a wheelie now. I could dismount. Okay. Avoid fighting GCPD. Yeah, we don't want to fight them right now. 
I swear I saw Killcock confound a man all. You with me? Mate, if you think Killer Croc is coming out of the manhole, then let us know. I'll go take down Killer Croc right now. Bring down the scaly man. Bring down Waylon Jones, which is Killer Croc's actual name. Is that a police blockade up ahead? Ah, crap. Well, I'm about to have fun. Sorry, officers, but I'm going to take my own directions. Drive over obstacle to the wheelie? Okay, that's cool. You think I'm about to stop for you guys? Sorry, but you guys don't trust us anymore. So we can't trust you either. Which actually makes sense since, let's be honest, when it comes to GCPD, the only one who's ever truly trusted Batman and his family was always Jim Gordon. There were, of course, times where he didn't, but once he did, he was one of the only ones. I heard that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, frames, frames. The frames went out for a second there. <laughs> but we made it to the Belfry. Saved over there and right. Continue. Nice work grabbing that drive from Langstrom's lab. Thank you. Thanks, Barbara. But I think this is where I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here since it did save. So far, I am liking it. But we are still at the very beginning. I'm loving the comic book references. So far, the story seems interesting. We haven't done that much of the combat yet, so I can't say much about that since we're still at the very beginning. But so far, I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe since it supports me in the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, do leave it in the comments down below. But till then, I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome.